everybody, last week we had a special guest from UK. His name is Mr. Julian Kolpas. He is a teacher in Manchester. He came to show us how we can use Apple technology in our education. So we decided to ask a couple questions. Well, when I was at school, I wasn't a very good pupil. I wasn't a model pupil. So I left school with very few qualifications. Um, but later in life, I was very lucky to go back to night school and I had a very good night school teacher. And she um, kind of explained the world to me and showed me the world through kind of educated eyes. And it was her um, inspiration really that made me realize that actually I did want to go back into education. And eventually, I think that's probably what led me to be a, to be a teacher was by having one teacher that inspired me. Okay, well this is the second time that I've been to the city and each time I come I'm only here for a small amount of time. Um, but the first thing that is really a surprise I suppose is how modern it feels. It feels, it feels like almost like a science fiction city. So sometimes I watch like a Hollywood movie and I will, I will think Astana when I see like a scientific, a science fiction kind of space. And that's kind of cool and it's, it's, it has a cosmopolitan feel about it. Um, and also all the people that I've met have been very, very friendly as well. So it's very modern, but very, very friendly. I love your school. I have to say I love your school, but I do love your school. It is very, it's a very happy place and it feels a bit like a big family. Um, well, one of the things that you have in your school um, is where you, you have, in part of the architecture, you have a spiral kind of staircase. Um, and in lots of international schools across the world, they have that space. And it's kind of good that you have it because it kind of connects you up with, it makes your school like lots of other schools, if that makes sense. So you're getting like a global education here in many ways. And for me, that, that big spiral staircase um, sort of symbolises that. That's a really difficult question. I, I as an outsider looking in to Kazakhstan and education, I think that you do a lot of things well. And I think that um, in England, we... we we probably look at the arts more than the sciences in an education and here you tend to probably look at the sciences more and I think that we probably need to be a little bit more like Kazakhstan sometimes but then I think probably Kazakhstan thinks it probably needs to be a little bit like the UK as well and I guess there's a middle ground somewhere but um, I think the arts are really really important in education and, uh, and I would always try and promote those where possible. Well, this space is definitely new and it's kind of great that you have like a TV studio because you can get the voices of the students, the voices of the learners um, recorded and shared and published. And that's going to be good for the confidence of the learners and the confidence of the school as well. It's, very, it's a difficult question because I, I don't, I've not really spent enough time in the schools here to, to make a judgment. But I think that the schools are probably a lot more similar than you actually think. And I think that the world is becoming more global. And so I, I just looking at you guys here, you, look, you could be in a school in the middle of London or the middle of Manchester. Um, the, the, the difference between the worlds is becoming less and less. Okay, that's a good question. Um, I think that um, information, um, in the past, you had to buy information. You had to, you, you, you'd have to buy books um, and you would even have to pay university fees. But to an extent now, information is free. So we can go to the internet and we can get all the information that we need. But what we need is we need good teachers to help students 
learn how to differentiate between good information and poor information, between accurate and inaccurate information. And it's going to take a very clever computer to be able to deal with things like truth and honesty and humanity and kindness and all of those kind of human things. And those are the things that teachers bring, as well as academia, they bring humanity to people, don't they? And machines will never be able to do that. Um, well, I, I think creativity is the, is the cornerstone of education because I think that it doesn't matter if you're going to be an engineer or uh, a dancer, um, you have to be able to problem solve and you have to be able to communicate and um, problem solving and communication are creative processes in themselves. So the more we promote being able to be creative as opposed to just filling people's minds with ideas, I think that is a good thing for, for the whole world. Thank you. Uh, we're happy to meet you here. Thank, thank you for having me.